Hi, I'm Claire Easton and I work for Sterling Geo as a geospatial software engineer. This month's two minute tip looks into how to add data into the geospatial portal. The geospatial portal is a standalone product by Intergraph and it also comes packaged with Erdas Apollo and Geomedia web map. To add data into the portal, select the data sources tab at the top of the screen and then we have five buttons. You'll need the second to the left. This button is the define a data source button. Select this and it will open up a new window. On the left hand side is a list of all of the services that we can add. Select web map service and in the URL box type in your URL. The next two boxes will automatically populate. Select PNG and if, and if you have a number of options within feature info format select that. If your URL is password protected you can type your password and username into this box here and then you press register and choose layers. Now a new window opens up, add to legend. Select the feature classes tab at the top and then expand the folder structure down. Find the layer you want to add in and press display. You can see we now have a new option here. This is telling me what layers I have displayed from this service. So click on the little arrow to the right hand side of your layer and select fit layer and it will take you to that layer within the map window. Now it looks great but I don't really like my background map so I want to add in Google Maps. I have the option of Google or Bing. To do this select the button display feature classes and queries. Select the tick box for Google Maps and press display. Now Google Maps is greyed out. This is because Google Maps won't reproject to the coordinate system that I'm currently using. To change this, go down to settings and select the drop down list of the coordinate systems. And I want 3785 and then I press apply. And now Google Maps is there. But Google Maps is now overlaying my previous layer. So I click and drag this up within the layer control and there is my data layer. Now I can also change the way it looks, so if I select here on this little drop down arrow and then select translucency, I can scroll this across. And that is how you add data to the geospatial portal.